10. I was going to take that Yoshino out. We've had some conversations about Yoshino lately. I thought it might be kind of fun to take that out and, and reacquaint myself. Again, um, Yoshino here, 310 millimeter guns, 52 millimeter HE pen, 29% fire chance. I'm um, looking at a maximum range of about 21K. AP shells topping out at 8,600 with HE at 5,100. So HE there being pretty valuable. Uh, secondary armament really isn't what this boat is about. It's 7.7 .7 kilometers. Oh, hey, Diego, welcome to stream, bud. ASMR stream. I don't even know if I have any paper to crinkle for you, but um, that's not going to happen here. Uh, people love to talk about Yoshino's torpedoes. Um, oh, gosh, 20,000 bits. <laughs> people talk about uh, Yoshino's torpedoes because that's a weird, quirky feature that the boat has. 20 kilometers is a very long torpedo launch. 62 knots is very mediocre when it comes to speed, but people think of this as the as like a defining characteristic of this boat the torps are fine but don't don't get distracted by them aa rating is 90 here's a bunch of specs on it the important thing to understand is it's a high-ish rating but you're still going to get attacked by airplanes and a 5.8k uh, attack radius so we'll see how yoshino goes uh i haven't had historically great wins in yoshino average damage is just under 71,000, so we'll say 71k um it's not, I've been doing okay with it, but I don't feel like it's a boat I can hard carry in or anything. We do know, we should have looked at the armor profile. We do know that Yoshino uh, gets citadeled pretty easily by powerful ships with good guns. So we want to be careful about people like these two Petropavlovsks. We want to be careful if we get too close to a Des Moines. We should be able to stay out of Des Moines range. Ohio is going to be a problem for us, right? And those boat, even Elbing, is probably going to be able to citadel us if he catches us out of position. Uh, Yoshino's got a basketball court on the back. Take a look at this sweet hardwood it's got. Um, and a bunch of AA guns out there, which again explains sort of its 90 AA rating. Got a AA turrets on top of the main battery up here. Can you imagine sitting on top of that thing while these guys are lighting off the mains? Oof. Have some shell shock after that. Torpedo tubes there. You can see them kind of uh, aiming on the bottom. Under the deck there. Alrighty, that's Yoshino. There are a couple of different camos for it. I run this one. I think the other one's just black and white or gray and white. What is going on in chat? Oh boy. Not not Twitch chat, in-game chat. There's some nonsense occurring. Alright. I'm going to not engage with any of that. <laughs> oh man. People being sassy. High top song for battle. There's a Salem out there. Let's see if we can't HE some folks. I like the HE on this boat. Uh oh. I don't know if I let him enough, but if I did, that could be a pretty good hit. I don't think I did. At least I got a hit before somebody else nuked him. Can we try these 20 kilometer torpedoes? Not for 20 seconds, we shan't. Too bad I wanted to fire them. At the Ohio! Ohio. Yeah, I said shan't. <laughs> oh man, put the little hand on the pow. I didn't even know you could do this. Graphics showed me this earlier. He put sunglasses on the pow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, way over let Ohio there. Uh, if we could dump this Haraguma, that would be fantastic. Give it a try. Our team's probably gonna mop that guy up before I even get there. Yeah, I'm gonna let them deal with that. 
I will take a shot at this gearing. The shots on the Yoshino are pretty accurate, but at a range like that, 17.6 to a gearing, it's a small target. It's difficult to deal with that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning about channel points and stuff. I've seen people customize them a bunch. Bespoke indeed. With words like shant and bespoke in here, you might start having to have somebody at the door to make sure everybody who shows up is fancy enough. Dude, that's a I, ten thousand on the Ohio first, and then that was six thousand with a fire. Ohio is about to be tired of my nonsense. Where's your Where's your ascot? <laughs> Precisely. Oh boy, Ohio, the great state of Ohio. Not even looking at me. He didn't even care. He should be. I'm easy to sit it out. Easier than that Moscow. Here, Ohio. Witness me. Look at that. 6,500. All of my damage is from this Ohio, pretty much. All 42k. And he's just like, whatever. More where that came from. There. Danger zone. Is there Ohio? We're gonna keep the shots on this guy. He's really leaning in. I think he just doesn't want to play anymore. He's got he's hungry, he's got a poop. I don't know. We're gonna dump this guy, and then once that's done, we're gonna try to work on Gosh, I don't even know. We've got three caps. We don't really need to lean in anymore, right? There's no sense leaning in. This guy's getting dead reckoned. Is a reckoning with death. Working my AA against that to support the Howland, who also has good AA. Oh no, he's in reverse. I led him poorly because I led the wrong direction. All right, Howland. Howland. Darn. That's okay. We got 50,000 damage on the clock here so far. Looking again for that average of 71k. Conqueror over there is going to be the kind of guy I like. I've got the wrong armament to fight Conqueror. So Conqueror is a uh, tier 10 British battleship. It has a super heal. And I do the kind of HE damage that he can super heal. So I'm kind of the wrong guy to be working on that boat. That is to say, my treadmill for killing that ship is longer than the treadmill of, say, that Moskva over there. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't shoot him. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't help him. I should, and I will. But when I do damage, a lot of the damage I'm going to do with a HE is going to get... Uh, is going to get healed by Conqueror because he simply can heal it because of his super heal. Double fires from the Conqueror. I should not be surprised. Uh, when it comes to the fire game, you know he's gonna he's gonna outfire me. I'm fairly confident. Well, he's faster. Look at that. I barely caught the back half of his boat. We will get it done. I wonder if I should shoot this uh, earring. Ooh, I don't need to. Moscow's cleaned him up. I reduce my lead on that guy. Oh crap, I forgot about enemy Yoshino. He's like right there. This sucks. I'm in a bad position. Especially if that Des Moines gets in the mix. Yoshi over here is going behind an island, so I think I can take that opportunity to turn away getting too close and I don't want to get too close and get AP'd yeah game is looking solid for the moment now you can see the fire that is on the Thunderer is just still firing it's doing its thing um, but Conqueror doesn't care I said Thunderer but I meant Conqueror Conqueror doesn't care because he can heal it all back he's probably actively healing it as I shoot him 
Good torps from the Holland, but as they are Holland torps, they're not likely to do a lot of damage. Uh, but I'll take the hits on Conqueror. Coin is trying to get a Citadel on me, and he has every right to do so. I'm giving up a bit of a broadside here. Hopefully I can maneuver a little bit. Conqueror is focused on Moskva. Again, good for me, bad for a Moskva. That guy's been over there soaking up damage like a sponge. There we go. Hey, that's a pizza party, guys. We did it. And I'm staying focused despite all the pizza and Coke that's available. It's Coca-Cola. Not that kind of pizza party, you guys. Uh, yeah. We're doing good stuff. As long as I don't get Yoshino, I'm kind of over here with this Austin. Austin showed up to see what was happening on this side of the world. Um, I might be all right. I don't want to ram this guy. Probably going to start, you know, 3D printing a whole new Conqueror here pretty quickly. Fire on him again. Six fires on almost entirely on this ship. If that torp catches him, that would be fantastic. Perfect! Okay. Whew. Scary days. Scary days. Arsonist. Oh, no, no, no. All right, Yoshino v. Yoshino up here. We got Austin working on stuff. And I'm trying to just get involved here. I want to scoop up a little more damage. Why not? Good match in the Yoshino today. This is great. Turns on a dime, baby. I'm going to switch to APs here. Which Oh, I didn't wait for my other shells to get reloaded. But I'm going to see if we can't sit it out, this Yoshi, before those torps get there. I don't know if I can reload fast enough. Oh, come on, he's turning. Oh, he's not turning. Switching back to HEs, because that should kill him. Oh, he took it. He took it. I hit him so hard, that would have been the kill. Oh, my goodness. That is insane. Austin was just spicy. He just had to get in there, man. Had to get in there. He wanted to be a part of it. I think the rest of this match is going to be Sailing Simulator. We've got 980 points, all four caps. I've scored 139,000 damage. We're doing great. What a fantastic battle in the Yoshino. And that's what this boat is about. I was surprised how well it kind of fared against that Conqueror. Um, but the only reason, and I want to point out, the only reason that went as well as it did is because the Conqueror had a Moskva to deal with. I think there were times when Conqueror had a better opportunity to work on my ship. He stayed focused on, it, on the Moskva. I probably would have, I mean, I, in my head, I say, well, it's easy to see from my perspective that I would have changed my tactics. Maybe I would have, maybe I wouldn't have. Um, he was close to dumping that Moskva, and I think he was driving to finish that kill. Um, but there were opportunities to do big damage to me across the way. So definitely a fan of uh, of of the Yoshino when you can play it like that. I don't always do that well. My win rate in it is low. It's about 9% lower than my overall. Uh, but my damage is, is high. So I think I'm learning to play the ship well. But I need to find a time and a place where we can invest, you know, the the well play or the good play. In the right part of the uh in the right part of the match so let's take a look at things here like i said 94 gun hits it's a fairly accurate boat even at range seven airplanes downed one kill seven fires and we've got the arsonist achievement causing more than 40 percent of the destroyed ships h uh, hp by fire i believe that was the uh conqueror 
74,000 damage to the Conqueror. A bunch of damage to that Ohio earlier in the match, too. Another ship that kind of ignored me and shouldn't have, you know, 10,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000 fires. Um, you know, we, we did a lot of work to that guy. Uh, 12,000 with fires, 36,000 against the Conqueror with fires. Uh, not much work to anybody else, and then we bumped into our boy in the Holland. Uh, credits and XP, he did fine. It's not really that interesting to look at. But, uh, you know, so there we are. We I did want to take a quick look at Yoshino's armor profile. I would mentioned that during the match. Uh, so we'll do that real quickly. We will turn off the torpedo protection. So here's our citadel above the waterline, right? So fairly, fairly uh, hittable. Let me turn off a bunch of this other armor so it's not distracting. If we If we just look at the citadel... Here it is, um, and and it's very much available uh, to be hit. 96 millimeter underwater, 144 there, and then a tight belt there with 178. If we put the turtle back, or the uh, the deck plate, I guess, the casemate armor back on. Um, that helps, uh, but we still have a little bit of this exposed and uncovered by armor. Doesn't doesn't have a little hook down like you see on a German battleship. Like, for example, if I grab my Friedrich de Grossa, which is a 9, that's why I'm not seeing it here. Show you how this works if you guys haven't really invested the time. Check this guy's armor profile out. He's got this little hook that comes down here on the side and then bounces back up. And this is very, look at 300 millimeters. Of course, this is a battleship, not a cruiser, so we can't really compare the numbers directly. But this thing hang overhangs so that whatever is exposed uh, at the at the waterline here has to go through this, they call it a turtle back armor, this casemate armor. So pretty, pretty stout stuff there from Friedrich de Grossa. And that's, that's a thing you'll see on heavier cruisers as well. I just happen to know that ship has it, so I went there. Um, if we go back to Yoshino, it's just a flat slab, right? So we don't have that overhang protection. But anyway, a couple of things to think about. Uh, Yoshino's a good boat, but it's, uh, again, it does have that armor weakness. So you gotta play it carefully or get a little bit lucky like I did.